A kidney cyst is a round fluid filled sac. It can be located inside or on the kidney. Majority of cysts are harmless, but in some cases they can be very serious and if left untreated, they lead to complete kidney failure. Therefore, it's very important to distinguish which cysts are harmless and which of them indicate serious condition and require immediate treatment. That's why we will explore how to identify and differentiate between harmful and harmless kidney cysts. Most kidney cysts have no symptoms and often they are found incidentally during ultrasound examination. Majority of cysts are harmless and they are called simple cysts. By the age of 50, every second person has such kidney cysts. The main question is why the cysts are developed. The kidney contains small filters. They filter blood into urine. We call them tubules. Tubules are small ducts resembling pipes. Over time, aging lead to tissue damage and accumulation of this cellular damage cause obstruction of these small ducts and eventually cysts are formed. Why they are called simple cysts? Because their structure is simple, containing only fluid within a well-defined sac. The simple cysts usually have no symptoms and they are singular or several. Multiple simple cysts are also possible but less likely. In rare cases, cysts can grow larger, compress other structures in the kidney and cause symptoms or affect urine flow. Large cysts may stretch the kidney capsule and cause pain. And in very rare cases, they can rupture, which is very painful condition and accompanied by blood in the urine. If a cyst becomes infected, it can lead to fever and severe pain with tenderness in the affected area. If the cyst causes symptoms, first line treatment is pain management. Second step is sclerotherapy, which means draining the cyst and filling it with alcohol solution to harden it and prevent refilling. If cyst does not respond to the therapy and causes symptoms, then surgery is a solution. However, the majority of simple cysts will never cause symptoms and don't require any treatment. The presence of cyst itself does not increase risk of kidney disease or does not mean impaired kidney function. But kidney cysts are more problematic if they are found at early ages and if they are multiple because it can be polycystic kidney disease which is a serious genetic disease and require close monitoring and treatment at early stages. So what means polycystic kidney disease and why it's so serious? It's inherited disease from parent where cysts gradually grow in the kidney become larger and cause symptoms over time. Polycystic kidney disease symptoms are back pain, side pain, blood in the urine, frequent urination, recurrent urinary tract infections. However, in the early stages, the disease may present no symptom for years. Over time, the disease progress and cause symptoms and eventually kidney failure develops. Most patients with polycystic kidney disease require dialysis in their 50s or 60s because their kidneys stop working completely. To slow down kidney failure, early diagnosis and regular monitoring of kidney functions is crucial and prompt treatment when needed. How to diagnose early with family history is crucial. If one parent has polycystic kidney disease, the child has 50% chance to get the disease also. And what means prompt treatment at this case? Management is to monitor and treat hypertension if it develops because polycystic kidney disease increases risk of high blood pressure and it further damages kidney. So. Treatment of hypertension is very important and treat urinary tract infections if occurred because these infections also further damage kidney. 
Toluoptan is a medication that slows down disease progression. It blocks hormone vasopressin, which is responsible for the cyst formations. Toluoptan is more effective if started early. Additionally, maintaining hydration, healthy weight, balanced diet, and regular exercise are fundamental to preserve normal kidney function. And here is question, how to differentiate if a cyst is just simple cyst or polycystic kidney disease? In simple cysts, they typically solitary or few in number. While polycystic kidney disease has numerous cysts on both kidneys and it giving the kidneys an enlarged appearance. The kidney is enlarged physically. Also, if person is young, under 30, and has at least two cysts on each kidney, it significantly increase likelihood of polycystic kidney disease. Family history is crucial. If family history is unknown, genetic testing may be considered to confirm diagnosis. Other causes of kidney cysts include chronic kidney disease, dialysis related cysts, and other genetic conditions and disorders which can affect kidneys.